This is a challenge Sims. This is going to be our third Anne of Cleves. And today we are working on Elsa. I believe it's Lanchester, but it might be Lancaster. Not entirely sure on that one. From The Private Life of Henry VIII. This came out in 1933. I have not seen this one. I believe this was a comedic role. Just from the screenshots that I've seen, it looks like they're playing a game in bed at one point. She's making kind of a lot of silly faces and things like that, but I'm not 100% sure on that. But I still wanted to create her mostly because limited, limited choices and she had a really interesting face, especially like her chin. She had a very dimpled chin. Um, she had like really long blonde braids. Like I just, I thought she had some interesting features. She didn't look I want to say she didn't look like a stereotypical Anne of Cleves, but obviously we don't have a whole batch to choose from, but she just doesn't look like how I imagine most Anne of Cleves would be cast today. She definitely doesn't really look like the portrait, so yeah, I figured why not. She would go on the list. I kind of had some, a little bit of free reign with her coloring in terms of like skin tone and eye color. I mean, I knew obviously the wig she was wearing was very, very, very platinum blonde, but other than that, free range. It was hard to get her face though, just because I had maybe three screenshots and she was really making faces in a lot of them except the profile shots, which it's funny, I don't normally get like really good profile shots, and I actually had two of them, but then I didn't get good shots of like forward facing ones, so I was like, Alright, that's interesting. Uh, but she had like these really big kind of doe eyes and like I don't think her eyelids are actually that large. I think it was the makeup, which I do put some kind of stronger makeup on her just because that's what she was wearing in the film and I wanted to emulate that. Her chin as well. I do have makeup that probably could have done the job, but I prefer whenever possible to actually use the base sculpt just because then it'll be genetic when we do that part of the challenge. Sorry if you can hear fireworks, that's the time of year in America. My poor dog is just not happy at all. We, every year I try new things and it just it doesn't work. The only thing so far that has been somewhat effective is I literally, she, I put a blanket over her crate and we just go in the Fortress of Solitude and I feel so bad because I, I don't want to leave her in the crate the whole time, but just that's just the only place where she remotely feels safe and if I take her out of the crate, she darts for the nearest corner she does not fit in and usually that corner is not at all safe for her, so I took her out a little bit too early today because I thought the fireworks were done. And she darted behind my desk where there's like maybe a foot of space, really nothing except computer cords and ripped out all my computer cords and was flailing around and was just freaking out. And I was like, okay, that's not good. And then yesterday she managed to get behind a bookshelf that had even less space behind it and then was stuck back there. <laughs> so yeah, so she goes in a crate that she doesn't fit in at all. And I mean, obviously she fits in the crate, but like, I did. I don't know. I'm frustrated. I'm frustrated with fireworks. I wish that they would not happen. But anyways, here's, as you can see, heavy makeup. Definitely heavy on the eye, heavy on the lips, but I'm happy with how she turned out. I think that she really fits kind of the look. She actually kind of gives me Snow White vibes, strangely enough, just facially speaking. Not the chin, but just that was the look. And it took forever. I do not have the right braids. I'm gonna tell you right now, I don't have them. I thought maybe that I did. I don't. I do not have just the stereotypical split down the middle, white, 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 white braids that are super thick. Because that was the other thing. Because it was a wig and it was not a very high quality wig, it wasn't realistic. It was just thick as your wrist. I just don't have that CC. Like all my braids are kind of thin or they're one-sided and thick. There's just nothing wrong with that, but just like, I just didn't have the right hair, but I tried. <laughs> I kept looking and looking and looking. I do end up finding a braid or a pair of braids that I'm kind of happy with, but not really. But yeah, 
other than that, I'd say she looks about as great as I was going to get her. This is actually the braids that I end up going with, spoiler alert. And I was happy with the Widow's Peak as well because it mimics an, a headpiece that she was wearing at one point because I knew I didn't have any of the weird headpieces that they were putting her in. So I was satisfied. I'm curious what her kids will look like. She does have very strong features, so I think that her features in some aspects will override Henry VIII's. So we'll see what happens there. I've actually made a bunch of sims today because Body Shop was cooperating and I'm like, I'm just gonna crank out a bunch. Because tomorrow I get to go over to my apartment and do some major cleanup. Slowly but surely reaching the point where my lease is gonna be up and I need to actually move the rest of my stuff out. <laughs> Not looking forward to it. I've been putting it off because it's summer and I don't want to do it. Oh my gosh, fireworks. I hate fireworks. I hate them. I hate them. They should all be banned and outlawed forever. I was hoping because supply chain issues that maybe people wouldn't have them, but nope, nope, they still have them. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed me whining about fireworks. Uh, if you like this video, definitely give it a like, and I will see you in the next one.